Eagle's Wings is a UK charity founded by Bruce and Sharon Oliver. <laughs> Working with trustworthy partners, they are currently helping children and families in Kenya, Uganda, India and Russia. invited out to uh, Kenya um, I think 15 years ago because food is scarce girls as young as 13 sell themselves for sex for just a few Kenyan shillings or 20 pence this is enough to feed a family who haven't eaten for a few days I, I thought something must be done you know why isn't there an international outrage about this kind of thing and realised in our small way we would try and target some of those girls who were particularly vulnerable. And this is our first building. I hope of many that we will build. I've just bought five acres of farmland across the road from the girls home and so we're able to grow vegetables, we're growing potatoes, we're growing maize, we're growing beans and all that kind of stuff and that enables us to keep the whole thing self-sufficient and we what was brilliant for me we went to uh, some schools in England and uh, one school St Thomas's school up in Stoke-on-Trent they said we want to do something what can we do we're just young kids they're little kids and they had done a penny trail around the school and they collected all these pennies and tuppences and it was just a great heap of cash and they all counted them out and with their money we bought our first cow and uh, with that we now actually have five cows and we're able to give the girls protein every day they can drink milk and then the spare milk we can actually sell on make some more money which we can buy something else with 1500 people were killed we've just had a major crisis and are at the moment in Kenya and uh, we were able to respond quickly so I'm able to actually send cash and someone literally will go out and buy the blankets. We don't own anything. Uh, as Eagles Wings we give everything away and they are locally run projects and we oversee them and the people I give them to are people who I know personally and this was key for me as most people would come to us and say um, well you're the same as everybody else and uh, I said no we're different in that I know these guys and we've been working with them for 10 or 15 years in these different nations we can actually trust them financially and that for me was very important as a businessman I wanted all of our skills that we learned in business to be transferred into our charity work. I saw a couple of city Kampala. Within a mile of the high-rise blocks of the city lies Katwe slum where the people struggle with poor sanitation, disease and contaminated water. I've been visiting the slum in Zambia now for about uh, eight years and I've seen it slowly beginning to change. The slum gets worse, but within it, there's like this, this rose beginning to bloom. When I first started going, the water was so grim in the well that the children were getting sick, but now at least they do have a, a source of clean water. The original school hut has now been replaced with a new building with classrooms and a clinic. I've become known as Senga, which means auntie. Um, it's really agony aunt. In uh, their society, they don't really have much parenting. And uh, it's taboo often to talk about sexuality. And this is where you have to do a shift in your thinking. Yes, it will be hard. 
Yes, it will be embarrassing to teach your own child how babies are made. If you have a child, it's your responsibility. Another charity called Taramachi have produced some interactive DVDs. So this is the DVD player. Happy to have a DVD. These are teaching training DVDs. Living with HIV. Having an HIV test. Breastfeeding. The use of mosquito nets. Safe water. Healthy eating. High blood pressure. Pregnancy. Avoiding malaria. Diarrhea. Cholera. The dangers of alcohol and the dangers of smoking. We don't like to do just a uh, hit and run. We like to return again and again to the same place because friendship develops. I was shocked, it's, you know, minus 40 degrees in the winter. <laughs> I tell you, it's seriously, seriously cold. And you can actually slap the ice in your nose. I mean, I've done it, and <laughs> it was kind of like a first. But it was amazing to see kids, youngsters, teenagers, actually sleeping rough in that environment. another young girl um, who I met that night and it, it, it really hurt me, um, still chokes me up now just to think of a young girl of 14 who's um, just left, her parents died and she had nowhere to live and um, so she had to go. So where does she go? She goes to the railway station and so there, you know, <laughs> you can see our, it, it affects me now, just one life you know, can touch mine. Eagle's Wings is targeting relief in Andhra Pradesh, which was hit by a devastating cyclone in 2006, and in the Chennai district, which has yet to recover and rebuild after the tsunami. With their partner Moses, they have helped build a children's centre for over 200 orphans who were left destitute. All the words in the world aren't going to help people when they're starving or they've lost all hope, they've got no shelter, they've got no food, they've got no clothing and they can't educate themselves out of poverty. They have provided additional relief to families living along the coastal region who lost their homes, boats and fishing nets in the tsunami. I must tell you about young Epsi, they called her, it's short for Hepsi Bar. When the wave came in to Chennai, it really literally filled up the city um, several feet. When the waves came in and they sucked out again, there was a tremendous undercurrent. So we had a mum with a young girl holding on to her daughter, and my friend Moses went there to, uh, to try and help people who were struggling. And um, he couldn't hold on to mum and Epsi. And the mum handed Epsi over. Moses and she survived and mum was lost and so all of a sudden here's number one another life and that one we got and she's a lovely girl she's a singer she's just loves singing and clapping and she's happy and she's now got a new family so and she's a success story and uh, I'd love to see more and it's really people who are watching this DVD and others like you who can make a difference and we do promise and I promise to the best of my ability to make this work for you. So thank you for listening.